What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to make this tan joggers outfit that you see in the thumbnail with the black duffel bag. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the first part of the outfit. For the first part of this outfit, you're going to want to head over here to this clothing store because we're going to be using the job that's right in front of the clothing store. But whenever you do get here, to if you guys don't have this race job, all you want to do is pull up your interaction menu. Scroll down until you find the map blimp options, click on map blimp options, go to jobs, click on jobs, scroll down to the bottom until you find stunt race, go ahead and click right on the d-pad and once you do that, if it does say show, you guys can see I hit right on the d-pad once and it set it to hide, just hit right on the d-pad once again and you'll see that it does say show and it shows up on the map just right here. So now that you did show up, that you did make the job show up, now you can go to back out of the Matt Blimp options and register as a CEO. Once you have registered as a CEO, all you want to do now is pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve CEO, go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style, you're going to look for the warlord outfit, which will look like this with tan joggers with the boots. So once you are wearing the warlord outfit, you can now go ahead and back out of the interaction menu. And all you want to do is walk into the job and then just hit right on the D-pad to enter. Once you do hit right on the d-pad, it should bring you inside of the job. You guys don't have to change anything. All you want to do is just confirm the settings and launch the job on your own. After you do load into the job, or after you did launch the job, it's going to bring you in here where it shows motorcycles. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or some, some random motorcycle. Just go ahead and scroll through the motorcycles for a few seconds. Once you have scrolled through the motorcycles, all you want to do now is just quit. Once you do quit, you should see that you do load back into a session with the outfit you had on before the Warlord, which is the outfit that I am wearing right here. And now all you want to do is run back inside the clothing store, run up here to the front counter, and you're just going to want to sit up here at the front counter where, at the, where it gives you the clothing options. Just sit here for maybe 10 to 30 seconds, and then it should kick you out just like this. And once it does kick you out, it'll make you wear the Warlord outfit. You can now pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO, and retire, and you will see that you are still wearing the outfit. So, now that you have the Tan Joggers outfit, I'm going to show you guys on how to create the outfit that we're making today. So this will be part of the outfit that we are making today. So for this outfit, you're just going to want to walk over here to your tops. Scroll down until you do find Designer Hoodies, which will be on slot 37, and you're going to equip the chocolate but Blagarious hoodie, which is on slot 49. So after you do equip this designer hoodie, you can then go ahead and back up to designer hoodies, scroll down to slot 53, which should be utility vest, and you're gonna scroll down until you do find the peach plate carrier, which is gonna be on slot 43. After you find the peach plate carrier, just equip it on your character, then you can go ahead and back out of your tops. We don't have to worry about the pants since you already do have the tan joggers. Walk over here to your accessories, go to gloves, which will be on slot 7, and equip the black tactical gloves, which will be on slot 72. Or, if you guys don't like these, you can also equip the black armored, which is on slot 9. So just one of those two gloves, whichever you like. But after you do have those gloves, or one of the gloves that you do like, back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sport shoes, which will be on slot 9, and you're going to equip the all white sport shoes on slot 28. Now that you do have the all white sports shoes equipped on your character, back out of your shoes and make sure your character has no head accessories. So you guys can either just go ahead and take it off through your interaction menu by just putting on the rebreather real quick and then put it back to none, just like this and it'll take off all your head accessories. So once your character has no head accessories and your outfit looks like this, just walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and if you are doing the heist apartment merge, you can save the outfit on whichever slot you want. But if you are doing it's a G thing, which I will leave that job in the description, and then you guys can click on the link and bookmark the job. But if you are doing the it's a G thing, save the outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. But after you have saved the outfit, you can now back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through the clothing until you do find heist coveralls, which will be on slot 13, and equip one of these outfits from slot 9 through slot 12, one of these outfits with the toxic mask. Now, after you did save the other outfit that we just did save, and then after you do equip this outfit with the toxic mask, we're now going to head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch for this outfit. After you have made it to the telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this. That's how you guys know that you guys are glitched. All you want to do now is pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your outfits, and equip the outfit we just saved, which is the all tan outfit with the peach plate carrier that will look like this. 
Once your outfit does look like this, you can then put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask does merge over to the outfit just like this. Now, once the mask did merge over, we can head over here to a gun store. After you do make it to the gun store, just walk over here to the top section, go ahead and edit saved outfits, and like I did say earlier, if you are doing the heist apartment merge, you can save the outfit on whichever slot you want, but if you are doing it's a G thing job, save the outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. But after you did save the outfit, just back up to the tops. Now we're going to start a job, so all you want to do is just hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, go to play job, go to rockstar created, Go ahead and click on missions and then you're going to look for the job that's called a titan of a job and just fully start up that job when you load into the titan of a job mission you will see that your character doesn't have the peach plate carrier anymore on your character so once your outfit does look like this just walk back over here to your tops and just hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you did before after you did save the outfit you can then just back up to the tops pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone Whenever you are back in a public session, this is what your outfit would look like. Just run back inside the gun store, then go over here to the left side where it does say tops. Go to utility vest on slot 53 and scroll down to the bottom and equip the stealth utility vest on slot 75. After you do equip the stealth utility vest, you can back up the tops. And I will leave a link in the description so then you guys can go ahead and bookmark it's a G thing and do the job. It's just like Crooked Cop, except whenever you guys have to merge it together, it's kind of like the heist department merge. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do the heist apartment merge, so I will get back to you once I am at my apartment. When you do make it to your apartment, you're going to want to head into your heist planning board room and walk up here to your heist planning board. And out of all the five heists, go ahead and select the first one. That's called the flake of job. After you do select the flake of job, the first job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called scope out. After you complete the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be the Karuma job. And that's the job we're going to be using for the merge glitch. So once you have the Karuma job available, just launch that mission. After you load into the Karuma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. After you, have, after you have set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, you can wait for a random or you can invite a friend. But once someone does join, then you can just launch the job. After you load into the jobs, it shows your owned outfits. Now you just scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit. So my outfit will look like this. Once your outfit does look like this, you can then just hit ready to play. When you fully load into the job, all you need to do now is pull up your phone and then just quit the job from your phone. So whenever you are back in a public session, you're going to want to find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. But once you do find a car, go ahead and get inside that car. Now you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu and register as a CEO or an MC. After you do register as a CEO or an MC, pull up your interaction menu up again. Click on Secure Serve CEO or Motorcycle Club, then go to Management, then go to Style, and on your CEO Style or MC Style, scroll one time to the left, and then one time to the right back to None. Now hop out of the car, and you will see that the utility vest do does merge over to the hoodie, just like this. So now, we're going to go ahead and get a helmet for this outfit, so just head over here to the mask store. So when you do get to the mask store, you're just going to want to walk over here to the mask, scroll down until you do find ski mask, which will be on slot 19, and equip the black tight ski, which will be on slot 114. Once you have equipped the black tight ski, back up to the mask store, walk over here to the hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19, and equip the black bulletproof. Now that you've equipped the black bulletproof helmet, you should see that the mask and helmet do merge. So there is one thing I did forget to say is... You're going to want to buy the grayscale urban ski so just go to any clothing store on the map go to the glasses go to sports glasses and you're going to look for the gray scale urban ski whenever you do find the grayscale urban ski go ahead and buy those glasses and now that you do already have the mask and helmet we're going to head over here to the pier so then we can do the telescope glitch and merge the goggles with the mask and helmet so whenever you do make it to a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. You're going to run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, go to your glasses, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the grayscale urban ski. Once you find the grayscale urban ski, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the goggles do merge with the mask and helmet just like this. 
And now we're gonna go ahead and get the black duffel bag, which you guys are gonna wanna head over here to your arcade. If you guys know the other way, which I believe is at your agency, I believe, then you can go ahead and do that. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and do the arcade because I already have the black duffel bag ready to go over there. So I will get back to you once I do get to my arcade. When you've made it to your arcade, you're then gonna wanna walk over here to your setup board. And for your select approach, you're gonna have it set to the big con, which is this middle job right here. But once you have select your, once you have put your select approach set to the big con, move over here to your prep board, and you're gonna want to move over here to your approach Pacific preps, and you're gonna look for the group A sex gear. So it's part, it's gonna have you go ahead and get the, get the group A six van. And once you do get the group A six van, then the second part, which you come back to your arcade for go ahead and select it and the second part is when you get the duffel bags so just go ahead and go to the location of wherever it tells you to get the duffel bags and we're going to go ahead and get the first duffel bag and bring it back but the second duffel bag i will get back to you once i am on the second duffel bag when you get the second duffel bag you will need a flying vehicle that gives you a parachute so an oppressor or a helicopter and whenever you guys are near your arcade and you have your flying vehicle all you want to do is just go ahead and get high in the sky like i am and just jump off once you have done this you can now go ahead and pull your character's parachute just like this and you're going to want to try to glide into the yellow circle where your arcade is so don't land before it you're going to have to land right directly on it until it brings you into the animation just like this and you guys done it perfectly. Now, you guys are ready to get the black duffel bag. So once it does say complete, just walk back outside of your arcade. And now we're just gonna head to a gun store so then we can get a certain parachute for this outfit. When you have made it to the gun store, you're now gonna wanna pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, and go ahead and re-equip the outfit on whichever slot you saved it on. And it should put on your bulletproof helmet, which should be the only part you were missing. But once you have the outfit fully equipped on your character, walk up here inside the gun store and walk over here to the front counter. Go to parachutes, go ahead and click on parachute, go to parachute bags, and you're gonna look for the Israel shoot bag, which should be right here on slot 26. Go ahead and buy and equip it on your character. Once you do this, back up to the front counter. It's gonna disappear off your character. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your parachute, set it to on, just like this and your bag should already be set to the Israel shoot bag. Now that the Israel shoot bag is on your character, you're gonna to wanna to use an oppressor, not a helicopter because I would recommend an oppressor because you won't lose any of the components on your outfit, but you're now just gonna to wanna to head over here to uh, the beach. Once you have made it to the beach and you are high in the sky on your oppressor, all you wanna do is just go ahead and jump off. And once you do jump off, just pull your parachute just like this and try to land. And whenever you do land, you should see that the duffel bag does merge over to the outfit just like this now that the duffel bag is on your character get back on your oppressor and now we're going to do the merge or the save outfit glitch which will be through the mass store so get back on your oppressor like i did say get high in the sky like i am aim yourself towards the mass store just like this get high in the sky jump off your oppressor pull your parachute and start gliding towards the mass store just like this and if you guys want to slow down your character, hold your left and right bumper at the same time and it'll slow down your character just like this. Try to have your character hit the blue tarp and just start spamming right on the D-pad once your character falls, just like this. So start spamming right on the D-pad, just like this. You'll see that your character either goes into the hats, the mask, or the tops, wherever you did land. And then you should see that the parachute is on your character. Just hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you want. And after you do save the outfit, you can then just back out of the hats, the mask, or the tops. You'll see that the parachute comes off. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit to wherever you did save the outfit on, on whichever slot. And you guys can see that the duffel bag is still here. So if you guys go back to your style and just scroll through your outfits, you can see, if you guys scroll back, that the duffel bag is still on the outfit, just like this. And yeah, it's pretty simple. That's all you guys need to do. And that's how you guys make this pretty sick glitch tan joggers outfit. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitched outfit. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.